begin. Oh, God. All right. Evening all. Welcome to the Advent Calendar number 11. Um, we have a special... Seriously? Did you find that really difficult to work out? What I've the lost is? track. Oh, oh everybody, no. we're joined by the... Everybody seems to think I do this channel on my own. And who wouldn't? Because, you know, it looks an effortless, you know, wonderfully artistic, uh, joined up together channel. And the reality is, is I don't. And um, for the first time ever, I'm actually getting my, my friendly boss, Trouble, to actually play the game. So... Uh, this is Trouble playing Plants vs Zombies, and you've also joined us in the edit booth here at Castle Pyrex. Um, so, what we're playing here is, and again, obviously you can see from the screen, we're now playing Plants vs Zombies. And the reason I picked this game is because actually a lot of the time... Sorry, you, you, you picked the game, did you? The reason Trouble picked this game was because <laughs> the uh, the reality is there's a lot of gamers, um, you know, maybe these are people who play FPSs and have YouTube channels etc are very uh, dismissive of tablet games and mobile phone games or cell phone games and um, I think that's actually I think that that's wrong as, as I get digged in the leg because the reality is that actually trouble is right these are well worthy of your looking um, and hold on why are you making it all my fault here no no that's your no no I'm paying you a compliment chill and, <laughs> and the reality was is that you know we should all we should have you know in our you know 25 games of christmas we should always look at the stuff you play on a tablet so here we go plants versus zombies now there are many many different games um out there if you and, and the choices are actually quite um favorable because there's a lot of investment and time going in to make very quick pick up and play games like this and the other one we looked at was where's my water by i think disney is it um a lot of very good games where's my water is really good come on yeah, a, a very good game. I mean, I'm surprised actually how far they've come. This is actually on Steam, um, so I am playing this on the PC, but it's worth just mentioning this game, I think, is now retailing for less than a pound. I could be wrong. Maybe there was a, a sale on, but it certainly looked to be very cheap. And again, just coming back to our kind of how much money you pay versus how entertained you are, I honestly think this is probably one of the higher... Uh, ratios there because you do get a lot of enjoyment and entertainment for what could be a pound or two so certainly worth looking at and I think if you've never played this before it's a huge sprawling game that just goes you know all the way from um, defending the back garden to defending the swimming pool to day night cycle all the way to the roof and I still haven't even completed it yet so it just shows you how um, how long the game is in fact this is my first go I haven't played it before so um, and I'm finding it quite enjoyable and I, and I might go and do this whole 99p offer if it's real or if you're not making it up. Yeah, I could be making it up. I can't remember if I saw it or I dreamt it. I, I, my gaming seems to be standing into my dreams now. As as referenced by Starbound, that game literally has, has occupied every waking thought of my brain. Anyway, so let's not talk about my drug. Um, <laughs> I tweeted earlier the makers of Starbound and I said your game is equivalent to chocolate flavoured meth. <laughs> I don't think they're too happy with that. Uh, anyway, because I think the tweet was removed. But anyway, um, so as we see, we're obviously playing um, this in terms of a very tactical game as well, because a lot of the time, what you'll find is it's not just about you know wildly dropping plants willy nilly. It's actually about creating. He really a... did. He did do that. He's just making up stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're really damaging my persona of being a pro elite gamer. Um, anyway. Sorry, what was that? Yeah, we're all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Let's talk about dust then. All right. So let's let's talk dust because let's face we're it. We're talking we... about no, no, zombies. No. no. So we're going to talk oh. dust. Right. Trouble. I got trouble into dust. I think um, maybe about six months ago, and I. <laughs> remember um you know taking time aside walking through the academy doing all that Ooh, and how many games did you last before I, you literally rage quit and, to, and and uninstalled it how many how many games trouble i didn't rage quit oh no i just found that it was a bit pathetic and then my of configuration that's required just to shoot people what's wrong with just wanting to pick up a gun and kill a couple of people a very very good sound argument i think that was pretty much the issue what what we did is we played four games and sure it was no literally it was four games and in every single one of them we were proto stomped and i was running militia gear just so obviously we could run the same stuff and i think after four games you logged off and then i think you text me saying f this effing game it's an effing effing f i don't swear so stop it 
Seriously, like that text made my nose bleed. It was so rude. Anyway, so as you see here, what tr <laughs> this punch here will make your nose bleed as well. <laughs> so what you see Trouble doing here is a very good um, defensive line strategy. Obviously, this is a, a, a much more tactical game than it perhaps it looks. So as you see on the front line, you have your walnuts and you have your potato mine, and you have then a row of catapult. Uh, cabbage catapults and uh, then you have your economy um, sunflowers at the back so just so we can make something clear what were you calling these sunflowers earlier dandelions because you couldn't understand why the sun was coming out is that right I, I called them dandelions yes because I thought that's what dandelion was so there we go map one and as you can see the result of every single map you get a, uh, a reward a card or something like that and in this case we've now got a plant pot that enables us to extend further into the roof this has probably been one of the more surreal conversations I think we've ever had uh, and I think that pretty much uh, I think wraps up today I think it's well worth having a look at games like this and don't dismiss them because they are actually pretty fun so there we go hopefully you enjoyed that we're going to have an article associated with this video so please go and check out squadby.com i know i keep harping on about it but if i don't mention squadby.com in each video trouble literally you know hurts me she does actually smack me in the face so you must make sure you go to squadby.com because she hits pretty hard for a girl now that is a lie and also just so you know all the bad artwork that you see was actually done by him <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.